While we have trouble in only one field, imagine that he was able to fit all these fields into his life. And, together with Isaac Newton, Leibniz is credited with the development of calculus, and numerous other innovations in mathematics with which we are still familiar today. Let's begin to learn more about his life. On July 1, 1646, Leibniz was born in Leipzig, Germany, just when the devastating Thirty Years' War was coming to an end. When Leibniz was only six years old, his father Friedrich, a notary, a lawyer and a professor of moral philosophy at the city's university, passed away. Leibniz went to elementary school, but he primarily learned on his own from the books in his father's library. He developed a passion for philosophy there. By the age of 12, Gottfried had taught himself advanced Latin, and also a little bit of Greek, in order to read his father's collection of books. When he was 14, he enrolled in the University of Leipzig, where he studied philosophy, mathematics, and law. Besides, he also studied Latin, Greek, and Hebrew. Sadly, at that time the level of teaching mathematics was not good at Leipzig. In 1663, he attended summer school at the University of Jena, and there he studied mathematics. After graduation in 1666, he applied for a doctorate in law, but was refused due to his young age. This caused Leibniz to leave the University of Leipzig, and immediately shift to the University of Altdorf. Despite his young age, Leibniz was invited to join the faculty as a professor at the University of Altdorf, because the faculty there was very impressed with him. But Leibniz declined it, and chose to go into public service. Until 1672, he achieved successful studies in the field of law in Europe, and made impressive contributions to the war situation. He stayed in Paris until 1676, where he met a number of mathematicians like Christian Huygens. Under Huygens' mentorship, he began to study the subjects, and figured out the core of some of his ideas on calculus, physics, and philosophy. Leibniz also traveled to London on a diplomatic mission in 1673, where he demonstrated his calculating machine, Stepped Reckoner, a multifunction calculator, that could add, subtract, multiply, and divide. He also earned the title of Fellow of the Royal Society in London, which is given to people who have significantly contributed to science or mathematics. In 1675, Leibniz developed the fundamentals of integral, and differential calculus, separately from Sir Isaac Newton. However, unlike Newton, he was more than glad to publicize his work. Leibniz published his first work on calculus in 1684, while Newton published his in 1693, and that is why, Europe first heard about calculus from Leibniz. When the Royal Society was asked to decide between the two men's conflicting claims on the invention of the calculus theory, they gave Newton credit for the initial discovery, and Leibniz credit for the initial publishing. Leibniz's calculus differed from Newton's, mainly in notation. For a derivative, Newton used a dot above the dependent variable, two dots for a second derivative, etc. To denote infinitesimal increments in the independent and dependent variables, Leibniz only used the symbols dx and dy. Joseph Louis Lagrange's work on differential calculus in the late 18th, and early 19th century, is when the prime mark for derivatives first appeared. Newton never chose a single consistent notation for integration, sometimes placing the variable in a box, and sometimes using a bar above it. Leibniz, on the other hand, used the extended S-shaped integral symbol that we use today. Leibniz was accused of plagiarizing Newton's calculus, which is thought to have had a negative impact on his career, 
but interestingly, many students of calculus today, have come to prefer Leibniz's notations. Along with calculus, Leibniz rediscovered a technique for organizing linear equations into an array, that is now known as, a matrix. This method could be used to manipulate an array of equations to find a solution. A similar method had first been discovered by Chinese mathematicians almost two millennia earlier, but had fallen into abandonment. Leibniz paved the way for later work on matrices, and linear algebra, by Carl Friedrich Gauss. The modern binary system, which uses the digits 0 and 1, to represent numbers and logical expressions, was created by Leibniz. Even though Leibniz discovered this method a few centuries before the first modern computer was created, this method remains essential to the operation of computers. However, it should be remembered that Leibniz did not independently discover binary numerals. In Leibniz's paper introducing his binary system, he admitted that ancient Chinese civilizations had previously used binary numerals. Gottfried Leibniz was never married, and had no other family members outside his sister's stepson, who remained as his only heir. He left him a significant quantity of money, when he passed away. Leibniz died in Hanover on November 14, 1716, when he was 70 years old. His funeral was only attended by his personal secretary, and according to the son, his grave went unmarked for over 50 years. Despite being a lifelong member of both the Berlin Academy of Sciences, and the Royal Society, neither organization felt it necessary to pay tribute to him, or perform a speech at his funeral. But fortunately, he was not forgotten and in 1985, the German government created the Leibniz Prize, which offers an annual award of 1.55 million euros for experimental results, and 770,000 euros for theoretical ones. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Thank you.